Hey, it's Tim here. And in 2020.3, Tableau continues to push forward its advances to create feature parity between web edit and desktop by adding the ability to create sets in the browser. Let me show you how that works. You can see here that I'm in the Ask Data interface. And what I'm going to do is instead of going to Ask Data, I'm going to hit this option to create a new workbook. And that hops me straight into the web edit instance. Now, in this setup, I've pretty much got most of the interface that I'd expect to see in desktop but it's always lagged a little bit behind its desktop counterpart. And so what you can now do is if you right click any particular field and go to the create option, you'll see here that there's a new option to create a set. Let me just highlight that for you. And uh, now that lets you create a set. And when we click on that, Tableau goes ahead and creates the set right here in the data pane. But unlike in desktop, you don't have the ability to edit the set just yet. If I right click on it, you'll see that there's no option here to edit the set whatsoever. The other thing I could do is show the set, but you can also see that that's also hidden. So in order to get this to work, we're gonna to need to do something a little bit different compared to desktop. To show you, I'm gonna go ahead and build a view. I'm gonna drag region onto uh, columns and I'm gonna drag sales onto rows. Now, one little tip, if you're demoing Tableau, they always teach you not to bring in the dimension first. They actually always say to bring in the rows first so that you don't get this funny instance where you get a, B, C in the view, because that, that sort of confuses a lot of new users. So that's just a little tip. I, I fell there myself. So let's drag uh, sales onto rows and then region onto columns. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the set onto the canvas. And by doing this, it allows us to enable the option to show the set. So let's drag region set onto detail. This is my default place to go to whenever I'm not sure uh, where to put something. I put it on detail and then I start working with it from there. If I hit this little drop down you'll see here that I now have the ability to show the set. Let me just highlight that for you. So you can see here, I have the ability to show the set. So let's hit that. And on the right-hand side, you can now see that I'm moving over here to the right-hand side of my screen. I now have the set controls. So now I can add items to my set. So let's hit central and east. Now we've added them to our set. They're, it's pretty much enabled, but because we haven't put our set onto anything in the marks pane, we just put it onto detail, it's not actually changing the context. So if we add, drag it onto the color or add it to the color pane, now we get to see our control working in real time. And now you can see we're now creating the set dynamically. So the set control uh, allows us to basically control what's in the set. And once that's done, you can now work with it in web edit. So this is a nice little feature because sets is such a basic feature that we use in Tableau desktop a lot of the time and to not have it in web edit makes it sort of um, a sort of a, a lesser citizen in some sense. It's great to finally see this. It's not quite got the same power and capability as you have with things like set actions, but I figure Tableau is getting there and eventually they'll be pretty much one for one. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of the other videos in the 2020.3 playlist. Check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. There's lots of Tableau content being constantly produced. Uh, and if there's something you think we can do or there's content that's missing, let us know what that content is in the comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel as well, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.